Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's time for something a little bit old styly. Just playing a level, really. The Great Diablo is here, and it's a form of Aku thing. And beyond that, I don't really know anything about it. So let's just try it. Rightio. Let's see. How are we gonna. Oh, a cyclone. Right. Nice to see you, I guess. Probably not, really. I'm just gonna do Cyberpunk to start off with, I think. Jizo's been quite good so far in my brief little experiences with Akus in the introductory stages. Oh, Jizo's doing a fantastic job there, being stacked and doing a whole load of plenty damage. Right, Cyberpunk, what can you... No, it's, it's immune somewhere along the line. So let's continue testing the theory and get out another anti-floating, because what could possibly go wrong? Of course, probably quite a lot including us not ending up doing very well. We're also only at level 3 worker cat. Our cyberpunk's dead. Our over OO is dead. Well, that's nice of you to die at such a time I could uh, talk about it in the same sentence. But beyond that, what we're left with is this, where we lose, and that's kind of it, really. How quick is the base destroying? Wow, really not that quick for a cyclone. Okay, I don't know if that will come in handy for the way that we think about it, but 100% uh, health currently. Unfortunately, none of my units have shield piercing abilities, so I've put something together. Let's evaluate it as we head in. So what do we have here? Well, we have a Curse Blast based. Nothing anti echo but then I'm not sure if that actually exists yet. What it will hopefully do is if this yonder boy has some form of anti-me awkwardness, the cannon will, at least for a moment, get rid of that and then hopefully we can have some form of impact with Fishman, for example, an anti-floating unit. But we're certainly gonna get our Cyberpunk out. Shadow Gal's just still kind of there, because I forgot to move it. We've got Thaumaturge in for hopefully some weakening, but the range probably won't bear that out. And Jizo has been very good before. And of course, last but not least, Ultralan, the, the Ultraman. Ultraman. Oh, 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 fantastic combo shot of Cyberpunk and Jizo there. That was beautiful. But we got some chunky red snatches straight out of floor 30, giving us trouble. Hopefully having Jiangxi along here will allow us a little bit more of a strong meat shielding wall. And you know what? I think that might actually be coming to fruition. Thank goodness. What it does unfortunately mean is that my worker cat cannot really be upgraded and I'm suffering for monies and can't really get anything else out. But I tell you what, actually, I think the weakening, even though it's not really going on to the cyclone, is definitely helping for the Gory in Aku form. That's really good. The Jizos are remaining stacked, and that's all really going really rather well. So let's use this Curse Blast base, which, oh my god, is orange. I must have never used it before. Oh, what an exciting milestone. Anyway, actually, all that's happened is that they've got closer to us, and we've run out of monies, so I'm not entirely sure what's happened there. Cyclone, oh, well, obviously has some kind of massive Aku shield that we need something to defeat. Something like Ultraman? But at the moment, we're not starting with enough monies. So let's go into it with a rich cat. Let's turn that CPU off as well before it starts causing us trouble. Let's get, oh, a perfectly timed? Manica Razor out, although I could have just done it sooner. And some other assorted smatterings of meat shields. You know, the kind of stuff that we're going to try and get ourselves before I'm going to try and get both Ultralan and the Cyberpunk so that we can regulate these Akus and not have Ultralan have problems caused to him. Because bless him, he does love to stand quite close to things and you know what, enemies love a little bit of personal space. So, we'll put the CPU on now. It will probably try and save up for Shadow Gao, so I'll just help it along, but you know, I thought as I'm bringing Rich Cat, I'll bring myself a cat CPU as well. Zoom out a little bit. So we've got this wide area of battlefield. And yeah, so the Curse Blast isn't going to help us because the shield is negating it. But anyway, a stack. Let's get one. We've got loads of meat shields, loads of Jizo action, and loads of Thaumaturge as well. It's actually all going really rather well. Ultraman, can you break that shield? No, I, I don't think you can. You know, he's standing there, all the way up there, actually. Rather resplendent, but unfortunately, kind of not really having an impact. Yeah, he's super helpful for when these boys start knocking at our door 
and attacking us like so. Fantastic, thank you Ultraman for the example. And <laughs> he clocked out soon afterwards. But we still actually get overrun, probably most likely, because we haven't got anything that will defeat this Accucyclone. I am starting to wonder whether genuinely, actually, we can't beat the level because we haven't got anything that shield pierces. And you know, when you haven't got anything that barrier breaks and you're up against a uh, Ultra Barbar, not even Aphrodite can save you. So are we not returning to the same kind of situation? I mean, this is still holding up decently well though. I'm pretty happy with this. Thaumaturge is an absolute legend. I also think that the bizarre- <gasps> What? 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 Oh my god. The bizarre punch sound effect is a shield breaking, but I didn't expect it to be the Cyclones one. I mean, it will have regenerated it now that it's been knocked back. I've been reliably informed, but oh my god. We knocked it back. So I don't understand. What's the situation? Can we defeat the Cyclone? Is it possible? Is it a thing we can do? Is a massive clump of thaumaturges actually just the best idea I've had in a significant while? Even with Max Worker Cat, though, that is just, I cannot maintain these meat shields and then definitely can't get other units as well. It's a pretty dire financial situation and I'm not really sure how I'm going to deal with it. I mean, probably turning the CPU off would help given I'm just meat shielding at the moment. But things are just gonna slowly die at this point. I've been hearing a resonant ding throughout this entire battle of when I've been damaging the cyclone, and now that's gone. So I don't know what that's attributed to. Like, not damaging the shield? Damaging the shield? But we've got the weaken effect up on the cyclone. So we must have broken through something, and there we go. There's another knockback. So we did break the shield. Then we were weakening it for a while. Then we did enough damage to do a damage knockback, and it got its shield back. Right. Well, I guess I'll just sit here for as long as I can. Which, in all candor, might not be for much longer. No, 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 just a little bit longer. Actually, I've got no idea how many knockbacks it has. We could be at, like, 95%. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, no. No, okay. Okay, okay. Got to make things cheaper, I think. Not only cheaper, but perhaps more profitable. If I put Maglev in there and we can get some killing shots off from Maglev, that'll give us a little bit more money. So we'll go for that. And oh, this is just probably going to bemuse and irritate, I imagine. But Gomon Cat, it does have the extra monies. I don't think I've seen Fishman be very successful yet, probably because the shield for the Aku Cyclone is up most of the time. And I'm also conscious that I'm often a member of the Jiangxi must surely be useful, right? School? Let's save a little bit of money by putting Manic Mohawk in there and seeing if this cheaper meat shielding arrangement works better for us. Rich Cat, pretty much necessary here. The CPU might be of more use and we'll put a Sniper the Cat on as well. Hopefully that doesn't distract Ultraland, the Ultraman. Okay, let's get stuff out quickly. And then after the boss wave, there we go. I'm going to send out a maglev. Do do do. Bam. Understandably didn't destroy the shield. Probably would have been a lot better trying to send the maglev to these little hat people. But there we go. They've been dispensed with by Sniper the Cat. Let's get a maglev out on the Aku Doge instead. That gets rid of the shield. Hopefully it... No... The Aku Doge is strong. That is unfortunate. Never mind. Okay, let's stop spending monies quite so much. We'll save up again to the point where we're able to get Ultraman and the Cyberpunk. And then we will turn the CPU on. I hope this isn't too late. It was pretty late, but not too late. Oh, look, my Gomon stack master plan. It's already coming into place. Look at the beauty of it. Just the joyful rush of when something I do actually works. I'm not sure the Gomon's outrange though, that is the only problem, they are getting continually knocked back, but when little stuff is around, Gomon's, being pretty pro, getting us some money. This strikes me as probably being much better as a manual strategy, given that, for example, I only want Gomon's out when there are little peons around, and- <gasps> Yes, shields down! We got a freeze! Fantastic! And also, we want Maglev to come out when there are enemies like that and not just run straight into the Echo Cyclone's shield. So if I monitor this myself, 
I can save a lot more money and use the units a lot more effectively. Let's wait for these enemies to come out to the front again, cheeky maglev. Not sure if that made contact. It's difficult to get the monies from it when there are shields before we kill the stuff, but we'll just give it our best shot. And now we're building up a kind of decent nest egg. Let's get the cannon out. Again, probably not really doing anything other than making me feel a little bit more secure. Hopefully that feeling translate. Not again. Not the patented, says something positive, the fat controller laughs. You are wrong. Yes, enough monies for Cyberpunk. Let's get that CPU back on again, because now it hasn't got any big thing to save up for. It's going to spam the meat shields when it possibly can, and that is what we're all about. What we're not all about, however, is the Cyberpunks being in ranged, and we're going to we're gonna not succeed, is the unfortunate truth of the matter. I was so hopeful for this run. It was going to be great. It was going to be fantastic, actually. It was just going to be pretty revolutionary. But I've just got a Meow Medal. Bit of consolation for doing significantly worse, but not much consolation. Honestly, I'm quite happy with this strat. Like, I, I know I probably shouldn't be, but I, I feel like it's kind of going fine. I've done my maglev too early again. But this time, right, save up for me monies a bit sooner. We will try and get Ultraland the Ultraman out quickly. That can then start the recharge time off on a new one, and that's useful. We're also going to have a Gomon out here on the off chance of getting double money. So we've got two double moneyers, one destroying the barrier and hopefully one killing it. Well, no, because every time there's a knockback, there's a... Yes! We got it. It's fine. It's fine. We've negotiated the difficulties and got through. Let's get two rounds of meat shielding out, these two, and crack the CPU on. Let's go. We've got Gomon out. Let's get Maglev out now. Uh, oh, yes, Maglev got gory. That's fantastic. So we've got plenty monies. We'll just let the CPU take over for a little bit then. Only meat shields and supporting units to spam. And, oh, yes, I've brought out the iron wall. It's not going to last very long, but frankly, if none of the other cannons are going to actually have their effect work on the Aku Cyclone, at least I can get a little bit of health for a little bit of time and perhaps save me from some sticky situations. Okay, Maglev's gonna come off recharge time, so I will take the CPU off and put out Maglev at a more opportune moment, such as when all of these shenanigans are about. Let's go, bam, and it got a doge, fantastic. That's given us a little bit of monies. Let's keep on meat shielding. We're going to certainly need the monies for them. I'm not missing Jiangxi, I'll say. I feel like our meat shielding is just as inadequate whatever we do. Oh dear. Thank you for demonstrating, I guess. Thaumaturge really still remains the absolute star of this show. The world does not deserve Thaumaturge. But what we do deserve, I think is that knockback. That's what it's all about. We got plenty of monies again. Definitely keep my meat shielding out. Cyberpunk will soon be an opportunity again. See if we can maybe go on this. We did! We go on it! Oh, double monies. We are absolutely rolling in it. Fantastic. I, I honestly didn't expect this double money strat to be as effective as it seems to be being. I'm sure you will all be at pains to tell me that it's not actually being that successful. But it feels pretty successful to me. I'm happy with it. We've got the same in-ranging problem with the Cyclones, but we've got a positive mental attitude, and that'll help us do anything, right? Well, one thing it won't help us do is keep the monies up, although we can positively turn off the CPU and move in with our own meat shielding. Wait again until the Akus turn up to bring out Maglev and that, although that was a lovely snipe from Cyberpunk. And is that our third knockback? Oh my goodness me, we're doing all right. We're not doing well for monies, but we've got enough to continue the meat shielding. And I'm going to probably prioritize Thaumaturge, although I don't probably don't need to because there are just so many of them. Jizo is probably the damaging unit that I want to be getting out here. I don't know what is chipping away the shield. Maybe it's not a one hit thing like barriers are, and it's just an immensely powerful shield. Maglev came off recharge time, but not before the those guys in Aku form had disappeared. So we will try and successfully do this with this shot. Oh my god! Maglev got a knockback! This is our best run so far. Maglev out. No, okay, that those guys went back and died before it could reach. Oh well, it was a valiant effort. CPU's definitely not going to be viable now. Both of my big ticket units are coming off recharge time. 
and we only have about a thousand monies. So we'll prioritize our meat shielding. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Perilously close to me, cyberpunks. Iron wall is gone. It's too close. We really need to be very close to a damage knockback now, otherwise we're stuffed. Maglev, please, just a little bit of monies from somewhere. I'm now just chaotically moving my meat shields around in a ridiculous order, in just the vague hope of something. Please, please, please. I'm just going to try and do Maglev for damage at this point. Come on, no, it's getting closer. It's on me, no! No, 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 no! Boom! Oh, that wasn't actually really that good. Boom. Bit of extra monies. There we go. That's going to make all the difference, right? Well, hopefully. This strategy is my final effort to scrimp and save to the max. I've removed Cyberpunk because, although it is very useful against the Peons, ultimately it just gets inranged in the most important part of the battle. So then I've just got Ultraland and the Ultraman, and in the place of the Cyberpunk, I've put little macho cat yes we care that much about saving monies that we've got a 45 monies meat shield we'll just have to see the cpu's run itself out of monies even though this should be a nice cost effective battlefield so we'll just run things by ourselves as we were planning to before get the maglev out there fighting at range is going to be more difficult for being responsive with gomon and maglev so we're just going to have to play that by ear and try our best. But we've got a decent bit of monies now, so let's whack the CPU back on and hope that Ultraland the Ultraman doesn't die, because he very much looks like he's about to. Please don't. That would be embarrassing. That's a signal for you to not die! Ah! See, the monies are fine here, but with no Ultraman, like, we're just getting chipped away. Even with four and a half meat shields and lots of weakening, there's, yeah, no chance that we're going to be able to stay here. We need our big ticket unit, surprise, surprise, to be alive. I was hesitant towards luring previously because I thought, well, we need all the space in the battle we can get. But I don't know, if Ultraman is going to allow us to maintain our position, luring would be the perfect thing to do. Right, let's do it properly. I will just try and take advantage of the start bit with Gomon. Two and a set of two meat shields should hopefully help us deal with these. Get ourselves basically kind of, if we kill this Gory with double monies, almost up to max. That was a big no against the Maglev though. It got absolutely slaughtered. As we're about on the base, we'll get our Ultraland, the Ultraman out. And we're in a position where hopefully we can stay here and then begin to push back with the aid of those damaged knockbacks. It's an absolute cacophony in my ears of sound effects now. CPU is running low. We'll start meat shielding ourselves, which, you know, immediately starts being problematic because I'm bad. But anyway, let's get Jizo out along with these meat shields. Oh, very beautiful. Very beautiful. There was no shield there. So Ultraland got a nice freezer knockback. There's the damage knockback and the reinstating of the shield, which is unfortunate. Maglev out possibly did what we wanted to with it there. I'm not even sure how we can tell in this mass of flame and stack. It just makes me think of burgers saying those two words. But anyway, we can't really see what's going on. We just got to hope, really. Get our double monies units out when the Aku Peons are in force, as well as the Ginger Snatch. We can't, we can't forget the Ginger Snatch. We'll get double money from that, too. Come on, Ultraman. They're getting a bit close to you, so I need something special from you. Watching the monies carefully. They're fine for the moment, but we probably don't want Gomon and that out anyway, because we've got some Gomon and no Aku units around. And that was another damage not back. Now we're really struggling for monies, despite me being deliberately stingy with what units we're putting out. I guess that's just what happens when you don't have loads of peons around to destroy for a while. Ultralan, you're stealing from me. Don't kill the peons. <laughs> I need the monies from them. Ultralan recharge time is coming back, and yeah, I've not got the monies to support that. We're running thin as it is. Very thin. I think Ultralan's going to die in the next 10 seconds. 10. 9. Wow. Yeah, cheers for that. You didn't need to prove me quite that right. I guess, as far as Thaumaturge goes, we don't really need too many up at a time. And also, while we're at this stage, with it having no shield, we don't really want to be doing the damage too quickly. This is a nice oasis of calm when we've destroyed the shield but haven't done a damage knockback yet. So, 
let's just keep going like this and see if we can't just get ourselves a little bit of monies. 4,500. Enough to bring Ultraland the Ultraman back. It doesn't matter! We've done it! Yes! Yabba dabba doo! Oh, fantastic. Come out then, Ultraland. It's safe. Well done. You did it. Get that speed up on. Get that CPU on. What a nice bit of success. And the deploy limit is filled up with just some bizarre shenanigans, but it's fine. We've got Akus to deal with, so we can refresh our units. Oh, fat amount of Akus to deal with. Ultralan, Ultralan, quickly, before this really goes south and, and causes me a lot of problems. Come on now, please. I'm trusting you. I'm glad I have my CPU on. Oh, no, 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 no. Get that iron wall up. Get cleared off. I can't be having you causing me those kinds of problems. Absolutely not. Fantastic though, we've done it. What an escapade. I enjoyed that. Nice, proper, hearty, challenging, but ultimately possible. All by myself. Boom. In the Aku room. Oh no.